Hey guys, Nabil from Topaz, hope you're doing well. Today I've got a Mercedes AMG Bonanza. And right here behind me, as you can see, there is an SL70, super rare, old school, but this project is actually not the car I'm gonna be talking to you about today. Believe it or not, there's another car that I wanna to talk to you, but this is a massive project that we did. And there's gonna be a video about this, and it's gonna show you exactly what we did to this car. Um, and you'll see a little sort of glimmer, glimpse because the interior doesn't look normal, does it? This is going to be another video that I want to talk to you about, so keep your eyes peeled and we'll go through all the details. But now I'm going to want to be talking to you about this car here behind me. And this car, yep, 300CE AMG. It's a super rare car. I mean, really, really rare car. It's called the Baby Hammer. It's been bought out by AMG. Back in the day, I don't know if you guys know or not, AMG were not part officially with Mercedes, so it was like an aftermarket uh, thing that they would do. And this is essentially a, a three liter that's been bought up by AMG to 3.4. Uh, it's got, you can see the arches are wider. It's got a ducktail at the back. It's got split rim, rim wheels. It looks phenomenal. So this car, we're gonna be doing a level two on it. Uh, and as you can see, Daniel there is just going through, checking everything to make sure it's all so sorted. It's just come through from the wash bay. Uh, the car is in an immaculate condition anyway. The, the, it's been uh, kept very, very well all the way through its life. And um, as, as expected by this customer, and as I also expected, to be honest, DK supplied this car, so it's a very, very special car. And in the background, you'll probably be able to just see, just in the background, there's something quite cool, which is the same owner that has this, and there's gonna be another video coming on that Diablo as well. Um, but yeah, so today we're gonna to be talking about this beast, and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it, because there's a lot of people that like these old school uh, AMGs, so you're gonna enjoy this one. I'll catch up with you at the end.
there you have it guys that was the video of the 300 ce 3.4 amg and it's here behind me this is the final product can you believe that this car is an early 90s car some of you viewers are going to be watching this thinking that's as old as me it absolutely is and look at the condition of the car it looks absolutely fantastic it looks like a brand new car so obviously what we did on the car was it was a very good condition car anyway as i mentioned at the beginning but so we decided just to increase the gloss factor by doing our level two treatment. And usually our level two treatment gives you about 80 to 90% uh, correction factor depending on the paint finish. This being that it was in a good condition right at the beginning, we're, we're, we're closer towards the 90% correction factor. So, uh, but the gloss factor is very, very high. As you can see, the gloss level on this is insane. That obviously helps with the paint correction, but also when we start to, when we, to finish it off and to secure all that to really make sure that the gloss is at the highest level, we start putting ceramic coating on top, and that's exactly what we've done on this beast. Let's go through, I mean, some of, some of the details of this car, which, I mean, I didn't even know before until the car came here and we started going through all of it. So there's actually a nickname for this car, and it's called the Baby Hammer. And, and there's also another variant of this, which is called the Hammer. And the reason being is because they call it Hammer and Baby Hammer, is because it's like a hammer hitting you in the back. That's how much the thrust is of this car. And as I said, this car is in the, you know, it's over 30 years old. That's how old this car is. And what AMG have done with this, with this platform is phenomenal. If you look at the, start looking at the details, first thing obviously you can notice the arches, the front wings and the rear arches are flared like crazy. And this is because, especially at the back, to make sure that the wider track looks and fits and operates properly. And you have also other details like the front bumper being different, the rear bumper being different. You have loads of color coding that was done. The, the front grills, you can see the front headlight wipers and also the windscreen wiper is also color coded. Um, and then obviously the thing that you see the most is are these phenomenal wheels. And these are made by OZ and they're split rim. So lightweight, split rim and as you can see, I think on the video you would have saw that we were actually doing some treatment to this and we also paint corrected them and also ceramic coated them. Obviously they're wearing Michelins as well which is always good to see. Uh, and, but yeah, I mean look at the dish on the rear wheel. Have a look. Look how deep dish that, that's what you call some proper dish factor right there. Huh? Look at it, it's just phenomenal. They don't make cars like this anymore. They, make, they don't make the, the wheels that look and look how aggressive the rear quarters look. So anyway, this is one of, one of the cars that you don't really get to see because with this car, it's under 50 of them ever made. So it's a very, very rare car. It's actually probably one of the rarest cars that we have here currently in the workshop. And that says a lot, you know? And interior-wise, let's go through the interior. Again, old school 90s interior. But it's got some iconic bits. I mean, the steering wheel is the first bit that you notice. Some of you old AMG junkies like me, would know that these are the very, very, very uh, iconic four-spoke AMG steering wheel. And you also got the Recaro buckets. But back then, the buckets also had, like, I don't think, I think it was 18 way adjustable seats. So back at that time, you'd think, wow, that's a lot of adjustment for a bucket seat. But if you look at the bolsters and all the way around, they're actually in decent condition, considering this car's a 30-year-old car. As I said, you know, it's done, it's done 40, shy of 40,000 miles, uh, kilometers, sorry. So it's really, really, I mean, from a condition perspective, it's fantastic. You've all got loads of sort of AMG details, like, the, for example, the, the, the gear shifter, is AMG's got AMG cap on it. Also, at the front there next to the air vent, it's got an AMG plaque as well. So the, what AMG used to do back then is different to what it is now. Now it's part of the factory. Now it's part of the whole process. So when you buy, you go to Mercedes and you want to buy a C63 AMG, it comes part of that. It comes part of the AMG package because you're ordering that specific car. Back then, you didn't have that. You'd have to order the car, send it off to AMG, and let them make this for you. And hence why now these kind of cars, they're going up in value. And I think they'll keep on going up in value. But anyway, I wanted to show this to you. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure some of you that don't get to see these cars that often like the fact that we showed this, and I wanted to really show it. And Thomas, our social media guru, really wanted to do this video on this car because it's such an epic car. But yeah, hope you liked it. Make sure to tell your friends about this, share it, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.